Hello friends, I am here with a new video and in this video I will be replacing old SATA hard disk drive with super fast SATA solid state drive means SSD. Actually my friend was facing a lot of problem with hard disk drive and hence he purchased 500 GB SATA cost around 5000 INR. So I will be doing the replacement for the same in this video and I am super excited as I am doing this for the first time in a laptop. Here it is and let's get it unboxed. So this is the this is the drive and this is the uh, description manual or you could say the user manual and other descriptions are given in this leaflet. Let's keep it apart. So this got delivered yesterday and here are the details. Uh, so don't worry, I will be sharing you the link in the description so that you could be able to purchase this. Now let's come back to SSD and as it is written here, I'm removing this label. Here is the pin. This is SATA 2.5 inch slot. It is written here as well. So you can see this is 500 GB hard disk 2.5 inch uh, SATA. Now let's keep the SSD apart and quickly I will tear down the laptop and then I will be replacing the old hard disk drive with brand new SATA drive. So let's do it quickly. I will be making this video fast forward while I will be removing all the screws from the laptop to save the time. So here we go, it's done and here it is. So I'm removing the back cover of the laptop, let's keep it apart and here we go. This is the old hard disk drive and battery and the motherboard you can see. So the old hard disk drive is on the left hand side bottom corner of the screen. So I'm removing it out and removing it from the cover. So the SSD drive uh, which they are manufacturing now everything is similar everything is same as it was given in hard disk drive so don't worry about these things you can you can even compare physically by visualizing the things you can see the ports and the slots and everything are same even the ports on the hard disk drive and the ssd drive are same so that it could be replaced so don't worry just go ahead and purchase ssd and trust me ssd is really fast and it will help your computer to work very smoothly i mean uh, even uh, you will be seeing when you will be booting up your computer whenever you will be pressing the power button your computer will boot up within 30 seconds that's the that's the best part what i have seen here and and other than this performance will be very fast i mean getting data fetching the data from uh, the drive would be very fast you will never know that when the data got fetched uh, status graph also you will be seeing that uh, the percentage of ssd usage will be very less it would be like one percent max to max it will be going up to 25 percent and in case of hdd hard disk drive it is going 100 percent lastly it will be crashing the hdd drive since it is getting utilized by 100 percent so you can just go ahead with the replacement uh, for sata um, solid state drive depending upon your budget obviously this is a bit costlier thing now let's put the back cover and tighten up all the screws. I will be making this fast forward again to save the time and afterward I will be installing Windows 10 operating system. Okay, I'm done. Now time to install the operating system. So I have prepared a bootable flash drive with Windows 10 ISO image and here I'm pressing F12 key repeatedly as soon as I press the power button. So it will give an option to select the bootable device. So I will be selecting USB drive. Oops, it is not having the option. So this laptop uh, BIOS setting need to be modified since this is the first time it is getting installed uh, using a flash drive uh, hence I need to uh, switch off the secure boot option and enable the legacy boot however to boot into the BIOS mode 
this laptop is having different function you can't just press uh, the keys from the keyboard to boot into bios mode instead you need to uh, check the small hole which is on the uh, which is on the left side of the laptop i will be showing you that so here it is uh, this is the place where you will be getting the let me figure it out not this not this and yeah here i i found it out so you have to use a pin like you're using to take out the sim card slot from mobile phone you can use the same pin so this is the hole you can see the curved arrow mark and that's the hole for booting into bios mode so here i'm using a needle and very gentle press inside the hole and you are done now the laptop will boot into the bios mode so you will be getting the list of options there you need to select bios setup the second option from the top and here we go now we will be moving to securities tab not in the boot uh, first we will be disabling the security so here we will be disabling the secure boot option and then again we will be going to the boot tab on the top you can see the tab what i'm talking about in the boot tab the first option is uefi so that option need to be done as legacy support in some laptop or PC it is given as legacy boot so don't be confused so I'm done with the BIOS setting and finally I need to press F10 to save and exit from the BIOS settings and now I will be pressing F12 repeatedly as the laptop is rebooting after saving the BIOS changes and bingo here we get the list so you can see the second uh, one the ssd drive what we have installed wd blue ssd drive and that's the serial number and here we got the usb disk as well usb drive as well that's the sandisk cruiser blade that's the name of the flash drive and just hit enter by selecting that option so this is an integrated image with 32 and 64 bit of operating system so i am selecting 64 bit and hitting enter and it is started loading the files for windows installation i mean to say it is preparing the environment for uh, the installation of new windows and the newly installed ssd and here we go so it will be giving the option to select the language the reason and the keyboard let's do it quickly okay i'm done with the selection so clicked on next and now i'm clicking on install now i'm not uh, clicking on it actually i'm using the tab option and pressing the spacebar and enter key to proceed for the next so here the setup is starting and uh, let me just make these part fast forward to save the time now select the license agreement then click on next and here we will be going to custom installation so that we can able to create the partition even though if you are not creating the partition you can proceed with the single drive and later on you can able to create the partition after installation so here i will be creating the partition uh, i i would prefer to create the partition before installation so i will be doing that so I have created the partition and uh, I will be selecting the preferred drive in which I want to install Windows uh, operating system and here we go. So it is started installing the Windows operating system. It will take some time. I will make this fast forward to save the time. Okay, so installation is completed and this is the next screen after the installation. Here I'm using the custom settings. I'm just pressing the tab key to select the particular button and hitting enter on it to proceed for the next. 
and here we go it is asking to create the username and password i will quickly create the username and password okay it's done i have clicked on next and let me make it fast forward for now because this is also taking some time okay so installation is done and uh, the desktop is prepared so everything is uh, done now we need to install few drivers from the lenovo website so uh, that is the secondary step however i will be checking like everything is fine or not so this is the task manager what i have opened in front of you and here i will be checking and the performance tab the second tab on the top so here you can see the disk consumption it's very minimal in case of hard disk drive this uh, consumption will be more so we have fixed ssd and th that particular ssd is installed with the operating system successfully and that's it in this video so hope you like this video and now you are aware with like how to replace hard disk drive with ssd so if you think that this video is informational and knowledgeable please do like this video share this video as much as you can and subscribe my channel for the latest update stay tuned with me see you in the next video bye bye